Come with me on a trip into angling adventure. We'll ride the ragged edge where the fish are big and wild. From the fabled Walker's Cay, we'll travel to the ends of the earth, to the loneliest oceans and the farthest rivers in search of the best light tackle action. We'll pit the smallest lures and the lightest rods against the toughest fish, and we'll burn the stories into the memory of film on the Walker's K Chronicles. Six miles to the end of Route 1, a historical jumping off point for smugglers and a landing place for people setting in for a long stay in paradise. It had been a year since I'd been down, and as I drove through those charming tropic streets, I wondered why I'd stayed away. Key West has everything that a saltwater angler wants or needs. Good restaurants, good bars and marinas, and more fishing room than just about anywhere in North America. Lipster! Hey, Jose! How are you, old friend? You ready to go fishing? Ready to go, man. You're gonna have to climb down out of there. I'll be down in a second. I'll see you at the launching ramp. All right. All right. Thanks, Art. All right. I think we're in a high state of readiness here. Let's go, Flipster. It was early fall, and the weather was straight out of the best brochures. 72 degrees, low humidity, high sky, as clear as Sister Mary Alice's conscience. My fishing partner, in case you don't know, is Jose Wehebe, host of a fishing series called The Spanish Fly. Like me, Jose has managed to escape the confines of nine to five. This is his office, done by the best exterior decorator in history. Our goal today is the opalescent piece of sculpture known as the permit. It has all the talents. It's fast, elusive, and very strong. It moves in schools along the edges of these shimmering sandbars, responding to the variables of a dozen different tides. Finding the permit can be a reward in itself. Good spot here, Flipster. Instead of fly rods and streamers, we were using crabs and spinning gear, which increased the odds considerably. Despite the glorious weather, water as clear as Perrier and Jose's X-ray vision, the permit were not exactly advertising their presence. If the bonefish is truly the ghost of the flats, then the permit wins my vote as the stealth bomber. You can look right at them and never see them. That feeding ray is a promising sign. Rays and permit are considered an item on the flats. Flip, 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 there's a wake right in front of us. Wait, see him? Right where you're pointing, about 30 feet away. 30 feet? Point right, point a hair right. See him? Beautiful shot, just slightly behind him. There you go, stop. He's looking, he's looking. He's on it. He's got it. He's got it, Flip. He's on. Whoa! There he is. <laughs> that is some awesome shooting, Flip. That is some awesome shooting on your behalf. Oh, Jose. <laughs> Are we happy campers now? Let me tell you what. <laughs> I love having a plan <laughs> and then going after it and making it happen. Yeah. I mean, this is just so much fun. Yeah. But with this little boat, we were able to get up here really shallow and work with the wind and stuff up in this really skinny stuff, and that's where the fish went to.
you doing, Flipster? Both he and I are doing extremely well, Jose. <laughs> extremely well. Now I can relax a little bit. Now you can relax. And you know, I had decided before, while you were doing all that worrying about where the fish were going to be and how shallow we could get and all that, I decided I wasn't going to worry at all. I was going to let you do all the worrying. <laughs> and it paid off. Look at this. That is one beautiful fish, man. Something about a permit. Yeah. I don't even know how to explain it, but somehow permit has always been for me a mysterious fish. Very, very, very enigmatic. I think the way they look and everything. What do you think, Flip? Should I just stop here? Yeah. It's getting close, isn't it? Oh, he's coming now. Yeah, he sure is. Boy, they turn sideways, and with that big, deep body, it boy... It is tough to move them, you bet. And, you know, they're one of those fish that fight you all the way to the boat. They don't just, you know, quit all of a sudden and come in very easily. Bless their hearts. Bless their hearts is right. I'm going to come up here and be on the ready side here. Boy, he's got a long top dorsal, He sure he? does, uh-huh. Looks like one of those palamettas almost. <laughs> Hello, little guy. Frisky permit. Need a pair of pliers? <laughs> no, what I want is a towel. <laughs> you got me all wet. You still got part of the crab there. Yeah. Beautiful, huh? That one gorgeous fish flipster. Jose, thank you, man. My pleasure, man. I think he's all ready to go, huh, Flip? hell of a long fin on him, isn't it, Flip? It is. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yep. I mean, your smaller fish usually have a, a long fin, but this one is, uh, this one is really unusually long. All right, let's let this little guy go. He's been very good to us, huh? You know what, Jose? I would be glad to pull you around for a little while. Let me just do that. Bye, guy. Flipster. Awesome. Awesome job, man. Uh, Let's take advantage of this tide. See if maybe we can uh, scare up another one or two right. or three or four. These cormorants are flying in fish. I guess uh, we're in the right place. Mm -hmm. Boy, look how they stirred up all that mud. Got an advantage over us, but they can get in the water. Yeah, yeah. I'd let I'd let them have that advantage today. Amen. The sun climbed, the wind stiffened, and the permit finally came out to play in number. Oh, now you got him. Now you're going to get your shot right now. Nice tail and fish flip. Good eyes, good eyes. Ooh, nice shot, Jose. I don't think he saw it. That one did. That one did, yeah. Oh, somebody's gonna find it. You got him, baby! <laughs> All right, well done. Thank you, brother. Very, very well done. Thank you, sir. Yow! Yowza! Yow! My goodness. You know what? He's with all those other fish, and they're just pulling him along. Wow, this thing is exiting rapidly. But I'm going to back this off a little bit. I feel like I'm too much. Do you want me to, like, really get after yeah, him? Yeah, I, I would probably have a tendency to stay close to him, especially with all the sharks and stuff here, you know? Okay, yeah, good thought. Yeah. Good job. I know it's tough poke in there. No, not at all. He has got some mongo line out there. <laughs> I don't want him to swim over that reef, you know? Yeah, no, I think we're going to be all right, but... Boy, he's got some line he's out there. He's got some line out there. I'm telling you, he smoked it. You got enough drag on him? I got plenty of drag on him, but if, if anything, I got a little bit, maybe too Why much. Why am on I him. asking you that? You know how much drag to put on him. Why am I asking you that? <laughs> Boy, I know we do have to stop him sometime pretty soon, because that 
reef out there will be the end of us if he gets that far. Yeah, I think we still got a fair ways to go before he gets out there, Flip. I believe. Got so much stretch in all that line now. Well, he's got a good 150 yards out there, I would think, don't you? I'm trying to get you there as fast as I can, Doctor. You're doing fine, Flipster. You're doing fine. I still think we got a little ways to go, though, before we get to that reef, you know? Here we go, Flipster. Get some line back on him now. You're pushing and the fish is pulling. Then we witnessed something we had never seen before in our combined history of flats fishing. Flip, look at all those permit with this thing. Holy cow, I've never seen that many permit gather around a hooked fish before, have you? Uh, well, I think, you know what happened? I think this guy went out to here to the reef and found him. Look at this guy, he's trying to catch up with him. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. come down it's uh way over my head here i can't pull anymore yeah flip i think it's fine you know he went over that reef and now we're out here in the clear in the deeper water so we're good right here i think i can maneuver him from here okay coming up flip look at look at this thing huh the water is so clear it looks like he's floating in air doesn't it sure does boy is he pretty and that Oh gosh, I love this color green water. This is just mm -hmm. so wonderful. It just looks like he's sailing. <laughs> Beautiful fish, huh? Got him? Oh my God, but good job, good job. <laughs> you see why I was having a hard time moving that one? It's bigger than I thought. <laughs> I got a plier on my belt that you can take that hook out All with. All right, friend, here we go. Look at that animal, huh? He's a dandy. You betcha. He's a dandy. <laughs> now you know why he fought so hard, huh? Uh, here we go. Oh, man. Look at that beautiful, beautiful creature. You got the memory firmly embedded? <laughs> here we go. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Was that an eventful one or what? I live for that. <laughs> took us into the ocean. I live for that. So, how many years is it now that you've been down here in the Keys? 23 now. 23. Boy, it seems like only yesterday that you were working at the Seaquarium and figuring out how you were going to get yourself a skiff and go into the guide business. It seems like only yesterday that you were working as a banker and you gave me the first loan I ever had for the first boat I ever owned. <laughs> That's right, I remember that. Remember and you that? know what? You have really come a long way in this in this here fishing world long way since those days and i'm really really proud of the voyage that you've made you've really done a heck of a job a very successful career in guiding a wonderful television show thanks for a lot of boat designing and things like that you know it's it's like it's an old cliche i mean you know everybody says it and stuff but it really 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 true i mean part of the thing that makes it so special is just being able to, to be out here and seeing all this stuff you know and the fish happen to be swimming in this thing is the bonus you know and you that you happen to catch one every now and then is is an even greater bonus but just the being out here and being able to take all this stuff in and look around and just see how really beautiful it truly is you know that's really the, the best part of being able to fish well but After lunch, Jose took us to a flat that rang distinctly in my memory. But as we drifted across its glimmering green expanse, I recall the day too long ago to measure. The image was clear and nostalgia wafted through a summer house. The years rolled back. 
tumbling like old newspapers blown along an empty street. And a young man was suddenly alive in me, his keen eyes seeing through mine. And there was the permit. I think he's going the other way, please. No, no. Good shot. Good job. <laughs> you the man. Our percentages are very high. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Flipster. I'm gonna push out there quick, Flip. This is a really, this flat has a really hard edge to go straight down. Crank out there. That's okay. I got a good feeling about this thing. <laughs> You know, Flip, I was looking at another fish over there off to the left that was tipping up. You know, you must have seen one to the right. I never even saw that fish. Jose, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I caught my very first permit of my life on this very same flat. No way. Yes, I did. On Patterson Flat? Right here, I swear. No with, way. With Norman Duncan, probably uh, in, uh, in the early 60s sometime. He had, uh, he had the neatest little bonefish skiff that he called Xanadu. And we were pulling along this flat, permit fishing. Scrappy little dog. Remember those old Phillips wiggle jigs, the brown ones? Yeah, the little flat ones there? The little flat ones that wiggled. Right. That's what I caught my first permit on. Huh. right here on this very flat. You know, you said something once that I really do believe and know to be true, and that is that permit never stop until they're right, I mean, until you have them in your hand, they're still fighting. Absolutely. And even when you have them in your hand, they're still fighting. Yeah, you got him, the Flipster. Yeah, no, he's getting tired. Ready for me, Flipster? Yes, I believe I am. Okay. Oh, God. Fish, huh, Flipster? They give it their all, don't they? Get that hook all right? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful, huh? Jose, thank you, man. My pleasure, man. He looks all set to go, Flipster, doesn't he? he? Looks pretty fresh to me. All right. I'll let him fly. Goodbye, little guy. This was so great. If Dorman Duncan was here, somehow, magically, it would be like stepping back 30-some-odd years into time to this very flat and catching that same permit. The permit was about the same size as that permit right there, too. <laughs> and nobody was more shocked than I was. <laughs> You know what? Norman would have been proud of us, Flip. Yeah, he'd also love to be here today, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, Jose. My pleasure, brother. For Great my, job once for again. For my trip down memory lane. So there it was. Another circle in my angling life. A band of silver and mother of pearl, forged by three decades and worn easily on the third finger of my memory.